welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we're going to be painting a daffodil using watercolors. What you're gonna need are some watercolor paints and I'm just using this eight color prank set. And then I'm just using this round brush that has a nice point. And you need a pencil for drawing it. I lost mine, but there was one here. You need some water. Masking tape if you want to use a taped border and always have some paper towels ready when you're painting with watercolors. And the watercolor paper that I'm using is this. Well, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is just going over really quickly how to draw a daffodil. For those of you who need a little bit of help drawing the daffodil, here's a really quick way to draw it. I'm going to be drawing pretty dark because I'm demonstrating this. When you draw it on your watercolor paper, you want to draw really lightly. Unless you like the look of your pencil lines, then you can draw as dark as you want. So what you want to do, this is your paper, you want to draw a circle almost in the middle, just a little bit above it. So we're just going to draw a circle, and I'm going to draw pretty lightly. After you've drawn your circle, you want to draw another circle in the middle. That's smaller. And then off to the side, you want to draw kind of an oval that's a little bit bigger. So we basically have three circles. How easy is that? Anyone can draw it. Okay, now you just wanna bring a line up to that one. So it's almost like you've got a cylinder that's just shooting out of this. Now there are six petals that are going to be around this, so we're gonna draw three first. So let's draw one. So draw your first one here. Let's go ahead and draw the second one here. And then let's draw the third one that comes up behind this. Okay, now let's draw the next three. So this one is kind of hiding behind. And then we have this one that's tucked behind this one as well. And then you have this one right here, which you can barely see, but I'm just gonna draw it in so you can see where it would be. The next thing we wanna do is create the edge of the center part of the daffodil. The edges of it are, are kind of tattered and uneven and jagged, but they're not sharp teeth like that. Kind of just like a jagged, torn edge. So go ahead and just do that around the top of this oval that you drew. On the inside of it, you just want to draw this edge right here. And then we're just going to bring it into the center. And then I'm just going to draw over my petals a little bit darker so you can see them. And there is the base of our daffodil. So this could be smaller. I think it actually is a lot shorter. An easy way to adjust that, I could either bring the petals over or I could slide that in. The stem kind of comes down, it's this kind of jaggedy brown paper shape into a tube. That's just barely at a diagonal. And then we have the second leaf that's coming up. Let's just say this is the bottom of your paper. We have another leaf, one that's coming up here. And then we have a very long leaf. Okay, and this is the basic drawing that you will need for your painting. You can also tape the edges of your watercolor paper if you like the look of that. After you've taped your border, go ahead and draw the daffodil on it and go back to the beginning if you need help drawing it. After you have your daffodil sketched onto your paper, in pencil lightly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wash over the whole piece of paper. So we're gonna cover the whole paper in light yellow. You do not have to do this. To neutralize my yellow a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of violet to it. There's a fly in my paints. Disgusting. I'm just, oh, well, sad too. Oh. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of violet. You need a humongous puddle of this color because it's gonna be covering your whole Paper. Again, I mixed yellow with a little bit of purple to get this color. Don't scrub your paper once you've covered a spot. Just move, move on. Okay, so just cover your paper in a nice neutral wash and let it dry. Once your background color is dry, to see if it's dry, just look and see if it's shiny or not. I wouldn't touch it with your hands. Get some yellow and I'm just gonna make a puddle right here. So make sure your yellow's nice and bright, saturated, and let's go ahead and paint um, our whole flower. So once you cover it, you know, you don't need to come back in and scrub it with your paintbrush. Just leave it and move on to the next section. Okay, 
you can work it, work with it while it's wet and you might get some really nice washes in there if you do. So let's go ahead and paint in some of the darker areas. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of orange to my yellow. Just a few little shadows on some of my petals. Be careful, this edge right here, I want it to stay bright yellow, so I'm not gonna paint in there yet. And maybe this petal back there. Now while we're letting that dry and just kind of bleed and do its thing, let's work on the petals. Just be careful around these edges right here. We don't want the green to run up onto the flower. So I'm just gonna grab some green and mix a little violet in it to make it darker. I'm gonna be using violet as my black, basically. Okay, now the first color I'm gonna put on there, I don't want it to be my darkest, so. Add some water and make a puddle. A big enough puddle to cover all of the green parts of your daffodil. I'm just gonna paint left to right since I'm right-handed, but if you're left-handed, you might wanna paint right to left so you don't drag your hand across the paper. Now while that's kind of drying, let's go ahead and paint in the brown for our petal. So we could get a pretty good brown actually by just mixing yellow and purple. So grab a little yellow, grab a little purple, grab way more yellow. <laughs> and then again, be careful now around the green because the green is still drying. It looks like it's dry enough that I can start painting on it again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make the dark shadowy parts of it. And I'm going to mix up a nice orangey yellow. Yellow is such a weak color. <laughs> it really, you have to use quite a bit of it. So I'm going to come right along this edge right here on the inside. And then I'm going to just bring that color up. Now we want that to be a lot smoother, so I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So what you can do is dry your brush off and then you can just kind of go along the edges. So my brush basically has a little bit of water on it and it's just softening up some of those edges. You could also use just a yellow too and go over the top. So I'm just gonna let this part dry a little bit more and let's come back and work on our stems. So now I'm gonna grab my green, put a little violet in it to darken it up. And then I'm just gonna start putting in some of these shadows on these. If it's not much darker, then just add, add a little bit more violet to it. And if they start to look too striped to you, you can take your green and just go over the whole thing. So this part of my daffodil is still wet and so I need to wait because I just want to add a few darker spots in this part of my daffodil. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to work on my papery part of the stem. So I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to mix it with my violet and try to get it a little bit darker. I use my paper towel constantly just trying to figure out my colors and making sure they're not too dark. And then I'm going to make it quite a bit darker. Now I'm going to soften up this edge. And then I'm also going to dry off my brush and I'm going to come back in because that dark just kind of took out all of the texture I had in there. So I just have a dry brush and I'm just kind of bringing some of those dark colors out. Now I'm just going to finish the bottom part of the stem. Anywhere I feel like my leaves are kind of petals or leaves or whatever they are kind of coming together, I might bring this darker color in. So now we kind of have the stems worked out, so let's just finish our daffodil. And then the last step is just adding a few little details in here, maybe a few more shadows. So I want to get my yellow orange. So see how it kind of puddles up? I don't want it to, I don't want my brush to be wet enough that it's going to do that because it will take the paint off underneath it. 
Okay, now I want to soften it up just by cleaning my brush off and getting yellow. And I'm just going to go around the edges. Okay, and since I've got some shadows up there, I might want to bring just a few of these orange parts down onto my petals. Once you've finished putting on your shadows and everything is dry, you can take your tape off. There is our daffodil. So what you want to do now is go ahead and just sign it. So you can barely, barely see the color we use for the background, but it does kind of create a nice little border for it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day and we will see you around on YouTube.